There's nowhere I feel more comfortable than in the middle of nowhere, clambering up some rocks. Sometimes we have to go into the woods to come out of the woods. Hello again and welcome to a brand new country. Today is a cold, miserable and grey mid-November morning in Sofia, Bulgaria. I'm standing outside Vitosha metro station and today I'm having an exercise day because honestly, if I have to sit in front of my laptop for one more second, I'm going to go on a killing spree. We don't want that, do we? And assuming I can get over people staring at me and looking me up and down every five seconds, I should be able to film a video today. Wish me luck. Let's get going. Right, activate YouTube personality. Let's go. We've got a bit of walking to do. As I said, as per the exercise mention, I could get a bus to where I'm going, but I feel like I walk, all right? This is classic outskirts of the city, isn't it? There's a shop called Fantastico. Glad to see my Cyrillic is still working. There's also a little thrilling. Right, I'm just taking a little break outside this cafe, or should I say fee and cake, because two of the letters have fallen off, brilliant. Um, we are heading uphill into the mountains because Sofia is surrounded by wonderful mountains and wonderful scenery and landscapes. You might be wondering why am I not filming a video in the center of Sofia to start off with. I will be, bear with me, but I have been in Sofia for just over three weeks already and I've spent a lot of time there. Uh, so I want to do something different for the first one. A little bit of exploration, you know, classic me. Oh look, we got daisies. We got wishies. I can't be the only one that calls them that. So this area, I'm taking a bit of a shortcut. It feels a bit, not rural, but like residential, you know. It kind of feels a little bit like some smaller places I went to in Serbia. And on that note, you know, when I came to Sofia a few weeks ago, I did for some reason have this idea in my head that it would feel very much like Belgrade or something, considering I spent a lot of time in Serbia recently and over the years. But dog um honestly it doesn't feel like that at all it feels for me more like kiev or minsk in belarus ah oh, i hope this cloud lifts it's been like this all week very foggy in the morning but then by about lunchtime the sun comes out ulitsa maestro atanasov sorry if that's wrong um see what i mean look it's all very a little bit rustic you know there's um what looks like a church over there okay i've reached the dragalevci goat statue which is my first waypoint on google maps it's dragalevsky which one is it ah oh, that's pretty isn't it hopefully this is a sign of things to come a nice pleasant stream while we head to dragalevsky or levsky monastery um where i believe there are cats by the way yes let's talk about something i love about sofia which is the metro as you know i'm a complete public transport geek right um the sofia metro in comparison to many other metros in Europe, it's very new, very modern. It's very convenient, clean. I love it. And um, there's a line that I'm living on, Ovcha Kupel. Ovchar, remember that from Serbia? Shepherd. It's relatively new. I think 2020 it opened. Um, and it's really easy to use. You can just use a contactless card. So there's no faffing about with tickets. I mean, you can get a ticket if you want, but you know, who wants to do that? It's 2022. Look at those dogs, so cute. Um, look at this, this is quite fun, you know. Traipsing off into the wilderness with these trees, kind of petrified in a way with the gloom in the distance and these power cables and pylons. Look at this, I love these old rusty pipes with the moss on it, you know. It's just so gloomy, isn't it? Like this is November. Right, enough crap about pipes. We've got a monastery to get to. Let's go. So sometimes getting the drone out and flying it can be a good thing because as I was doing that, the clouds have started to dissipate, the fog is starting to lift 
and blue skies are appearing. Also, I'm noticing these beautiful dew-covered spider's webs. The autumnal leaves beneath my feet. Look at that, beautiful, right? Well, according to Google Maps, there is a shortcut in this direction. So let's continue. Right, I swear I'm not bullshitting you, but I can't get over just how stunning this is. The beams of sunlight streaming through the trees with the peaceful and tranquil cascade beneath. I should be a poet or something. Right, in this car park, we have this helpful map. Draga Levtsi, not Levski. Um, yes, this is huge, by the way. Um, Vitosha, it's ginormous. Like, there's literally no way I could possibly go everywhere in one video. Um, I believe there is like the highest peak. Um, it's slightly challenging to get to apparently and I believe in the south there are bears although not many bears I think it's a small group of bears um, so let's watch out for them. And just to highlight the sheer size you do have these huts located throughout the area. You know the little huts you stop in when you're doing big long hikes. I stopped in one in Ecuador once when I had snow blindness up a volcano. So I was just walking for ages up this hill, talking to myself, as you do, until I remembered that I'm meant to be filming a video. Brilliant. Um, I'm at the monastery. Um, I think I am anyway. It's up there a little bit. Look at that. That's where I came from. Reminds me of Nova Varos in Serbia with the uh, ski lift. Obviously it's not a ski lift, it's electricity cables. Um, also Odessa, where there was this uh, old Soviet cable car that was closed. Right, where are the cats? Obviously that's the only reason I came here. Google reviews said there's a ginger one that's very friendly. Ginger ones are always very friendly. They are truly the ultimate beautiful fluffy angels. Will I be shouted at for filming? I don't know. We'll see. As with Serbia and, well, anywhere really, monasteries are very secluded, isolated. This water here is very clear. Does it come from like a spring or something? I don't know. Oh yes, it was founded by Tsar Ivan Alexander in 1345, so it's a 14th century monastery, as with many in the region. Um, have a good trip. I guess these are like the living quarters. It's almost like a hotel. Right, I found some cats. Hello, angels. Psst, psst, psst. Mats, mats, mats. What is it in Bulgarian for cats? Oh, they're gatitos. Tiny. Hello. It's a monastery angel. Right, my day is complete. Of course, like any monastery cat, it always sits on you, especially when they're young. There's something wrong with that one's back legs, hind legs. It's falling all over the place. You okay, Han? I think I may have been chosen. Oh! <laughs> Hello, angel. <laughs> Yes, I have been. I'm stuck here forever now. Oh no! <laughs> this is pretty, isn't it? And I think I've made a friend for life down here. I was trying to get an arty shot of you there. So it is quite small. That's okay. You know, religious buildings don't all have to be grand and ginormous and extravagant. And as I said in Serbia, which I keep mentioning, I'm going to, aren't I? It is quite sort of subtle and understated, you know, as monasteries are in comparison with churches or mosques or synagogues, which are generally quite overblown in terms of their extravagance. Yeah, it's quite small. You can't film inside. And obviously, I get around that somehow. Um, <laughs> Don't tell me off, people. And yeah, it's just very nice. It's nice to come to somewhere in the middle of nowhere with stunning scenery and a monastery. And some other people found the cats. Now they're playing with the cats. I'm going to go and beat them up because they're my cats, right? That is just Balkan life, right? A random cat at a monastery. Truly iconic. Blagodaria to Dragalevci. Manastir. What is it in Bulgarian? Hang on. Oh, it's on here. Manastir. It's got... I noticed this with Bulgarian compared with Serbian. It's like the same word, but maybe a couple of extra letters. Well, that was nice. We've got a choice now. We can either go to an observation deck thing 
in that direction, or we can go back the way we came to a waterfall. I think I'm going to go with the latter because I haven't seen a waterfall for ages. There's a car that's going to run me over. Brilliant. So I thought I'd try and be clever and go down another shortcut, but it turns out I shouldn't try and be clever because it goes in the wrong direction. Classic me. What's this? It's like fungus or something in the tree. And this is after I went through this muddy bit with the stream and almost broke my leg. Um, so let's do it again. Bloody brilliant. Oh shit. It doesn't look that bad and then you step in a big bit of mud. For long term viewers, right? So not newbies, you can fast forward to the next bit if you want. Um, lately, I've been quite depressed. I've got to be honest. I've been quite disillusioned with like everything, to be honest. Um, but that's why I came out today. Come out today to traipse around and have a bit of fun and get my mojo back. And so far it's working. Going through a transition period, and I don't mean the menopause, or gender reassignment. I mean, in terms of moving on to other things post YouTube. You know, I can do this with my hands tied behind my back. I can go out and film a video and do it with my eyes closed, well, maybe not. I'm going from a point when I know exactly what I'm doing to a point where I have no idea, I have no clue. And that's quite scary. Since I've reached 40, I've kind of gained a new perspective. I've been through this before. You know, it's not the first time. Maybe if I was 20 years old, I'd feel differently, but, being the age I am, I know that I've been through that before and I know I can get out the other side of it and I know what I need to do in order to do that. I do feel a bit guilty within myself, like I've built all this up, established everything, not just YouTube, but everything else. I feel like, well, why should I move on from that if that is established and it's working for me? Valid point. But at the same time, I feel like when you've lost the passion or interest in something, it can only be detrimental to continue. Hence. I want to move on to different things and I feel like actually the the scary unknown option is the better option, you know? Right, we're back at this car park bit we were at earlier. The monastery's back in that direction. The waterfall I'm hoping is in one of these directions. Let's go this way. Um, but the third point, the third reason why I'm depressed, this is like hard, isn't it? Um, is going back to what I said at the beginning, activate YouTube personality. I did that on purpose because I do feel like that's what I did six years ago. I created this character, this personality that I portray on YouTube. Yes, this year particularly, which is the theme of this year, final season, David, I've been myself. I'm swearing a lot more. I don't give a shit. You know, the reason for that is because that character is mentally damaging. A lot of people that do things on social media aren't themselves and it's really damaging in the long term. Without this, who am I? You know, I'm quite average, I'm quite boring, I'm not extraordinary, you know, I'm not Martin Luther King or Mother Teresa, I've never done anything out of the ordinary to inspire anyone or anything like that, so I do worry who am I going to become after that, but I guess that is the voyage of discovery that is life, you know, and I say that I hate filming videos and stuff, but I've enjoyed today coming out, sometimes we have to go into the woods to come out of the woods, I planned that a bit earlier, it worked out quite well didn't it? Enough of that bullshit, because look, I found the abandoned cable car. I did see on Google Maps that it was temporarily closed or something. It looks a bit more than temporary, and there is a hole in the fence. It's coming here. It looks like this has been out of action for a long time. Let me know in the comments if you know when this last was in operation. It's very dilapidated and very rusty up there. Look at this, I wasn't expecting this at all. <sighs> Wowzers. So maybe what I was looking at earlier was the cable card, not electricity lines. I can't remember. Now this is my kind of thing. Look, the old ticket thing. Amazing. 925 metres. Yeah, I read that it's really long. Um, let's have a look in here. 
lots of cobwebs and it's very dark oh, okay let's not go in there but these signs look quite new don't they is there another lift does this say Ruska Banya as in spa quite possibly I purposely didn't do any research by the way because I like to discover things we're getting there I hope Got all these trees Uphill roads, complete wilderness, not a person in sight, which suits me quite well because I hate people, to be honest. Right, the road on Google Maps ends here at this random building with die written on the wall in red graffiti. Right, there is this slightly, oh shit, off camber path up here. If I run into a bear, I'm not going to be pleased. I mean, I'll probably get mauled to death, but whatever. Right, is this a good sign? There are precariously positioned benches in front of a rocky outcrop. Should I continue chasing waterfalls like the 90s girl group TLC? This bench was only put here on the 5th of October 2022. Or the 10th of May if you use that incorrect American calendar. <sighs> I can hear the waterfall in the distance but it's all the way over there. Like there's no way I can get there. Oh this will do. <sighs> Look at the view. Well, this is brilliant. Oh, Lord. Oh, there's a twig I can grab hold of. Fantastic. Well, I'm certainly not suicidal anymore, so that's a plus. Ah, there's nowhere I feel more comfortable than in the middle of nowhere, in the woods, clambering up some rocks into oblivion. Oh, I'm dizzy. So I think this is actually better than the bloody waterfall. I think there's a lower waterfall and an upper one. I can't be arsed with either of them because this is so cool. Here we go. I am literally the king of Vitoja. I made it. It doesn't look difficult, but it was. Look at the colours of autumn. One month until winter. I'm looking forward to seeing some snow. That was dramatic, wasn't it? It's like one of those staged Instagram photos. I can't do them, sorry. Um, I'm going to love you and leave you and go home. Well, I'm going to have Starbucks first, obviously. Why change the habit of a lifetime? I'm covered in mud <laughs> and my legs hurt. But that is the sign of a good day. And I'm glad I came out today to get my mojo back. I feel like I've absolutely got my mojo back by coming out today and clambering up rocky outcrops, whatever that means. Um, so if you are in the same boat as me, not feeling yourself at the moment, get your ass out, do something. You know what you have to do to make yourself feel better. So do it. Brilliant. Um, yeah, I'm glad I've got it back because next time in episode two of this very, very short Bulgaria series, we're going somewhere absolutely top tier elite out of Sofia, which let's just say could be related to brutalism and an ex-communist building and also a flying saucer. If you know Bulgaria, you might know where I'm talking about. Wish me luck. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Catch you later.